guys welcome back to no catch name it's me Ella today I wanted to hop on here and share with you things I've been making the last few days I know the last one I made one I've been crocheting was only four days ago but I, I like having them on Mondays and Tuesdays and that one was made like on Thursday randomly because <laughs> I was behind but so I'm, I went ahead and making a new one just to get back onto my schedule <laughs> anyways I got some really cute Amber Grimmies to share with you this week and uh yeah so let's just go ahead and hop into it okay first this one was a whip last week if you watched uh i think my whip wednesday and now it is finished on it <laughs> so this is a free pattern by grace and yarn it's called mini cow <laughs> it's black and white the black is red heart super saver i think and the white is crafter's secret the pink is a scramble pink i don't know what the pink is <laughs> But it turned out pretty cute. It is missing a spot. It's supposed to have two little ones, but June took off with one, and I never could find it. <laughs> so that's alright though. I think it's pretty cute. I didn't do the horns because I don't know if I've ever seen a dairy cow, one of these black and white ones with horns. <laughs> um, I'm sure there, you know, the horn. I'm sure there are some, but none of the ones I've ever seen around here are <laughs> or have. We have a lot of dairy farmers around here, but um, I just think it's cute. I tried to do the eyelashes. They look a little wonky. I don't know. I think it looks a little wonky to me. I didn't do the greatest, but it is all right. It's still cute. So there's one thing. I believe I used a 3.75 millimeter hook, which is elf. It was pretty easy make, but it had a lot of sewing on. I did crochet the arms into the body. The pattern says to like sew them on, but anytime I can, I uh, I do <laughs> crochet. But I had to sew the spots on, the muzzle, and the ears. And if I had to made the horns, you would have had to sew them on as well. And the eyes, I think, are 20 millimeter safety eyes. Okay, I got a bucket down here. I've been um, chucking all my finished objects in. These next three are a free pattern on Instagram by Whimsical Knots, and it's a little pig. <laughs> I've made these before. Um, and actually, I made one with worst of weight, you know, holding it single, and it came out really small. And one, I think, either double or triple worsted weight. And they both sold at my previous craft fair to the same person. She, she thought they were mama and baby pig. Which I guess they kind of were because one was real small and one was bigger. <laughs> and she bought both of them together. But I made two. And these first, or I made three. These first two are, um, what is this here called? It's loops and threads. The chunky yarn. I can't remember what it's called, but it's loops and threads. In a pink color. That one's little face is crooked, but I think it gives them character when they're not all exactly the same. So I made two of them. And then I made one in a uh, big twist posh. These are really bright. <laughs> it's a bright pink. So I do got three little piggies here. Um, these are all made with a five millimeter hook, which is an H hook. Got little piggies. I want to make some more piggies, but I want to try to make uh, a couple bigger pigs. Uh, I just do like this little pattern. It's a no sew pattern and it's pretty quick. Three little piggies added to my collection of amigurumis. <laughs> All right, next I made the baby shark again. Uh, when I made it for my last craft fair, I held um, worsted weight three together. So I don't know what that would make. That would make like a seven plus <laughs> size of yarn. Um, I did the method. I found a YouTube video. If I could think about it, I'll link it below where you use one strand of worsted weight, but the way you fold it makes it into three strands. It was a really neat method, and it worked really well. Uh, so they came out bigger. I made two. I made a pink one and a blue one and they both sold at uh, the pink one. I think the pink one sold at the craft fair and the blue one sold at my Etsy shop. So I made this one with the uh, loops and threads yarn, a white and pink color and it came out really small. <laughs> I got weaving the ends. This is also a no sew pattern. This um, you attach it later with yarn and you just you know hide the ends. So I, I do gotta sew him up. But he turned out so little. <laughs> and without this top fin it just looks like a little whale. But uh, it came out a lot smaller. I might still make a couple more of these because I want to have like a $2 basket on my table for, uh, you know, kids that don't have a lot of money. Uh, I think it's cute. But anyways, there's that one. That is a free pattern by All From Jade and I think that's all on Instagram. Then I made some of the cute little mushrooms that are, they're called Chunky Boys. <laughs> um, this is also a free Instagram pattern by Chunky Crochet. That's Chunky, I think. Chunky Crochet. I made two of them originally. I've got it written down, but then I made another one. <laughs> so I do have three. These are made with, I can't remember if it's loops and threads chunky or if it's the Bernat uh, chunky. It's one of the two. I think it's the loops and threads. But I made three of them. Here's one. Just a little mushroom boy. 
and use the other two. <laughs> they're all like the same. Their eyes may be a little different, but they're all made with the same yarn. And I made two in one setting and one at a different time. <laughs> but there's three of them little chunky boys. I think that's such a cute little pattern. I might make some more mushrooms, but it, it, they'll look different than that. I don't want to have too many of the same thing. <laughs> then I was wanting to make some Grogu's, Baby Yoda's, whatever you call them. So I found two different patterns and I tried them. This is made with the Yarn B yarn that I purchased recently. I can't remember what it's called. I got a ball of it here somewhere. No, I took it all in there. It's Yarn B something. <laughs> it's the Yarn B Chunky Yarn. It's a size 5. Um, so first I made... This one called Little Alien by Naughty Bobbles on Instagram. And it's so cute. So this is both, both of these colors is the Yarn Bjorn. I just can't remember what top it is. I think this one turned out cute. It's a good size. And then this next one is called Baby Alien Squish by Goomba Crochet. And it's bigger. <laughs> it's significantly bigger. But also cute. <laughs> His ears are real fluffy. But I think it's cute. I do want to make some more of these, but they might be different patterns. And I did get some different yarn to try as, as well. So we will see where I go with that. But I think these are both really cute little patterns. I think I like this one more because it's got the little <laughs> arms and legs. Let's see here. And then yesterday, I made these two amigurumis. Picking all these little back up, put them in my basket. Um... First, I made the new Leggy Bunny by Joe from Joe's Web, and uh, it is all the way done, except I do need to put eyes on it. I think I'm going to put felt eyes on it, and, you know, stitch on a little smile or a little nose or something. But I made it with the yarn that I just bought <laughs> a couple of days ago, yesterday, whenever that was. Um, it is Blanket Sparkle. It's so cute. It is pink, and it's got sparkles in it. But this bunny came out so cute, and it worked out pretty fast. You start with the ears, and work your way down. It's a no-sew pattern, and it's even got a little tail <laughs> built into it. And I just think it's so cute. I would like to make a couple more of these, I think. Because um, the next craft market I am doing is like two weeks before Easter, and it's it's got an Easter egg hunt at it, so I think it's going to be Easter, you know, very. So I think bunnies might do good. But I think I'm going to put felt eyes on there. If not felt eyes, I'll probably maybe crochet some eyes or something. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. But I think this is just such a cute pattern. So definitely check this out. It worked out pretty fast. It, this is a size 7 yarn. Uh, and I used a size 7 hook. I think. Not a size 7. 7 millimeter hook. Because I think those are two different things. But I think it came out so cute. And it's a good size, I think. It would be so cute in an Easter basket. So I made this pink one. And I might try to make a like a boy quote unquote boy color <laughs> uh just in case there's someone who wants either but i love this pattern i love all her patterns so far they're all really nicely written so definitely check that out this is a paper pattern though uh i'm not sure how much it is <laughs> but uh it's cute so go get it <laughs> all right the last thing i made yesterday was i made another one of the brontosauruses from instagram by kaylee crochets and since the last time that i made it i made a green one a few weeks ago she's like rewritten the pattern fixing you know errors and things and the second one came out a lot smaller <laughs> I don't have the green one in here because I have all my finished amigurumis in a, a zipper bag in my bedroom to keep it you know away from the rest of the house <laughs> um and it came out bigger the green one did than this pink one so I made one in the pink um big twist uh posh yarn <laughs> and it came out a lot smaller it's still cute though. I still don't like the tail. I still feel like the tail looks weird. I don't know. But um, it did come out way cuter. I do gotta put eyes on it. And uh, it was easier, I think. I feel like the pattern flowed easier than the first time. The first one took me a little bit longer because, you know, I just needed some tweaking and she tweaked it. But it came out super cute. So I'm pretty sure they're different sizes. I remember the other one being bigger. <laughs> I'll have to pull it out and see. Um, but. The other one I put uh, felt eyes on, so I'll probably put felt eyes on this one too. And I might try to make a couple more of these in different colors between now and my market. Uh, because I think dinosaurs are always popular for boys and girls. Everybody likes dinosaurs. <laughs> and it's just so cute. It's very blown out. It's not quite as pink as it's showing on there. But um, it is a pretty like neon pink color. But that is what I made this week. So I've been chugging along making amigurumis. I have a whole list of things I still want to make. I want to make some bees because I only have... 
No, I don't. I had one bee left and it, it sold in my Etsy shop. So I gotta make some more bees. <laughs> and I want to make, um, I wanna make some bees. I wanna make some, uh, of these little flower things. I can't remember what they're called. But that's why I got these adorable balls the other day. They're little flower. They're kind of like the mushy boys. But instead of a, you know, a cap, mushroom cap head, they have like a flower head. I think those would be cute. <laughs> and they have like a green body and then you do yellow right here and then the petals or whatever flower color you want to use. I want to make some of those. I want to make some more pigs. I have a donkey pattern that I want to make. I have just a few things I want to make, but I'm, I'm slowly running out of time. So I will probably be making amigurumis for this craft fair all the way up until the night before the craft fair. Um, but I, I have a good supply right now, so I'm... I'm okay with what I got. <laughs> so, and my sister's gonna take, she's got some display thingies that she's gonna take her stickers in. So, hopefully, we both clear out. I would love to. I see videos sometimes of people going to craft markets and they like sell out. That would be so cool. But, anyways, yeah. So, that's what I've been working on this past few days. Um, since I think Thursday. These are from thir Thursday to today, which is Monday. I did wanna hop on here with my little journal <laughs> that has crochet gray squares on it. This was from Dollar Tree. I bought a few of them. <laughs> So I had I have some saved for giveaways. I just haven't done them yet. Uh, this is where I'm like tracking everything, and I just wanted to update you. I was gonna do a um, like a January roundup. I wanted to do monthly updates of what I made, but I just never got around to doing it. So this is my little tally board <laughs> of everything that I've crocheted and sewed so far since January. So let's see. Our amigurumis. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 45, 50, 55, 56, 57 amigurumis since January 1st. Um, seven hats, which is a lot of hats for me. One, I finished one blanket, which was carried over from uh, December. And I made 11 miscellaneous things. That's just, that falls for everything else. It's not an amigurumi, a hat, or a blanket. <laughs> and then sewing, I've made, I've sewed five totes so far. That's not very many. <laughs> I got a whole bunch more I'm about to sew. I've sewed 17 drawstring bags, uh, 19 notion pouches, and one other. The other is a baby blanket I made for my daughter. It's dolls. <laughs> and I have more that I want to make. And I'll actually be doing a lot of sewing this next, this week and this weekend. But for January, I finished 52 things in January. <laughs> That's a lot. I had 52 crochet finished objects in January and 42, 41. I'm not sure <laughs> what that is. Um, sewing projects. So that's a lot, I think. I did a lot of crocheting in January and I've already got 23 finished objects for February so far that are crochet. And I, like I said, I am going to be sewing so I'll have those to track too. And uh, it's going on. I'm pretty proud of myself. I also have three things already for my county fair put back. Oh, my county fair paper. <laughs> so I have the pillowcase that I made with the animal squares. That's going to be for my county fair. My uh, heart sweater that I finished. It's up there. <laughs> it's the pink and purple and white one. That's I'm going to enter that in the fair. And also my Beetlejuice tote bag that I sewed for myself. I'm going to enter that into the sewing portion of my fair. And I still have, I have a list in here somewhere. Let me find it. Of all the categories I want to enter into my fair. My fair has like a PDF that you can download to see all the lots. And so the highlighted green ones are ones I want to enter <laughs> on that side and on this side. Uh, that doesn't mean I'll enter all of them, but sometimes I do. I've, I've had like 40 projects at the fair before. And the more you enter, the more chances you have of winning, the more money you make. Because our fair pays for premiums for first, second, and best of show. We don't have a third place at our fair. Um, so, yeah, I think the highest I ever made was like $101 at the fair, which is really cool because, um, you know, it's just something to do for fun and then you get paid for it, so it's nice. But I have three little check marks on here of things that I got already stored in a tote for the fair. And there's, um, even in the sewing category, they let me enter crochet things because they're sewed together, which I think is cute. They're really good at my fair of helping you find categories to put stuff in. <laughs> uh, so... All together, there's, there's one for sundress, casual dress, which I was going to make like baby dresses. A bonnet, doll clothes, which I already have a bunch of doll clothes. So, and I actually bought some more patterns when Pamela from Pamela's Adoring Crochet was having it sell. A decorative dish towel, a placemat, decorative pot holder, doll clothes. They have two different doll clothes categories. One is in children's clothes and one is in the linens 
slash home decor. I'm not sure. I mean, I can enter both of them, I guess. Just make two different doll clothes. Uh, stuffed toy, which I always put like an amigurumi me in that. Pin cushion. So that's something I may not make. Uh, a table runner. House shoes, crocheted. <laughs> uh, a hat. Other crocheted item. A crochet scarf. And then they have the Afghan and the baby Afghan categories. They have a wall hanging. Decorative basket. And then these are like holiday gifts or crafts. So it's a, holiday, a Christmas craft, not a wreath. <laughs> Christmas stocking, Christmas tree armor, Christmas wreath. Halloween decoration, no wreaths. Halloween wreath. <laughs> fall decoration, fall wreath. Uh, any other holiday or special occasion decoration. I usually enter like a 4th of July themed or a Valentine's Day themed thing for that. And then any other holiday or special occasion wreath. It's the same thing goes for that. Uh, I think I did an Easter one one year. Thanksgiving decoration, a toy, which I also do like an amigurumi. And these ones I didn't know. Like this one is a recycled article. It's anything that you make out of recycled goods. I don't know if I'm going to enter that, but I highlighted it just in case. There's a patriotic decoration and a patriotic wreath category. So it's all those categories that I could enter. So we'll see if I enter any of them or all of them. Uh, I didn't get to do the county fair last year just because I was so busy with my baby. <laughs> um, but I've done it every year since 2016, except for last year and 2020. <laughs> so, and it's a lot of fun. I've won two best of show ribbons on. One was a huge Afghan. It's called the Mandala Madness. I got best of show on that. And I got best of show on a baby Afghan the year after that. Um, and it was... I think it's the high high tides waves blanket by it's like baby crochet or something like that. I can't remember now <laughs> but um it's a lot of fun I actually sold that baby blanket uh, I still have my mandala madness it's just put up because my kids are kind of gross <laughs> I'm gonna wait till they're older and then I'll pull it back out I had it out when Jesse was little because he was a lot different than June is <laughs> June is a lot messier than Jesse was but anyways that is everything that I've been working on and this is my ball bed bucket this is from january 1st to now so i already got a good little hunk of ball bands in there so i'm pretty excited about that i've been going through the yarn it's like since i'm doing market prep and i'm wanting to do i'm for sure doing two markets this year but hopefully maybe do one in between the two um i've been going through the yarn <laughs> so i may have a way more ball bands than i normally do <laughs> i normally have like around 50 on a normal year for me normal crochet but with market prep i think especially using these um chunkier yarns because you can go through them a lot quicker um i may have a ridiculous amount of ball bands in this year but i'm having fun and i'm really enjoying using these bigger yarns so if you've never tried them and you've ever been curious just grab a ball and try it i really enjoy the size five because it's basically like worst away it's just a little bit bigger and the size six is the size seven when i was making this bunny was a little weird it felt weird <laughs> doing it but um I think this is size seven maybe this is size six i don't know but if it, you know my hands weren't used to this but um it was fine and i love the way it worked out so it's just getting used to it you know i've been using mostly worsted weight for years and years and years <laughs> this year will be my 22nd year of crocheting so uh it's nice to try something new <laughs> anyways i've been blabbing for a while so i'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and go crochet some more and i'll see you guys in the video bye guys